Hi, I'm Becky. I'm a maternity stop smoking advisor. If you're pregnant and thinking about quitting, you're about to do one of the most important things you can for you and your baby. And I'm here to give you four top tips. Number one, speak to your midwife. Your midwife can refer you to somebody who's specially trained to help you stop smoking in your pregnancy. If you've tried before and not been successful or just feel you can't do it, give us a go. We've helped so many people in the same situation as you reach their goal of quitting completely. We know you're three times more likely to stop smoking with support from a stop smoking service. But don't just get support from us. Get support from friends, family, your partner. Having this additional support will make your journey just that little bit easier. Number two, do consider using licensed NRT, nicotine replacement therapy, a type of medication that substitutes the nicotine you'd normally get from a cigarette and will stop your body withdrawing from nicotine when you quit. There are many different types and you've probably tried some before patches, inhalator, lozenges, mouth sprays and gum. Making sure that you're on the right dose for you and the right product is fundamental to your quit being successful and we can do this for you and issue it for free. We know that nicotine is a really addictive drug but used on its own in forms of NRT, evidence shows us it's 99% safe to use in pregnancy. If you decided to use an electronic cigarette in your pregnancy, that's absolutely fine. We will support you to do so. And Public Health England estimate they're 95% less harmful than continuing to smoke. We'll also help you with the behaviour change techniques you need to help make your quit successful. Number three, quit completely. Don't cut down. You might be tempted to reduce to two or three a day in your pregnancy, thinking this is doing less harm to your baby. But in actual fact, you'll naturally take bigger and deeper drags of those cigarettes and this can cause more harm. When you, in, when you take a drag from your cigarette, you inhale 4,000 chemicals. One of the most heavily researched that we know causes so many risks in pregnancy is carbon monoxide, the same poisonous gas found in broken boilers and car exhaust fumes. This carbon monoxide replaces some of the oxygen in your blood. This then passes through to your baby through your placenta, meaning that a percentage of your baby's blood will be filled with carbon monoxide instead of oxygen and nutrients, which is really important to their developing bodies. Shockingly, your baby can have up to double the amount of carbon monoxide in their bloodstream compared to you. This means every drag you take of a cigarette deprives your baby of oxygen and nutrients. But the great news is, when you stop smoking, it only takes between 24 to 48 hours to completely eliminate all of this carbon monoxide. It is the most important health benefit that you will get for you and your baby when you stop smoking completely. And this shows why it really never is too late to quit smoking. Number four, if you're putting in all of that hard work, don't breathe in other people's smoke. The only way to keep you and your children safe from secondhand smoke is to ask people to smoke outside completely. Don't be tempted to smoke in just one room of your house, even with the window open, because we know that secondhand smoke will stay for up to two and a half hours and it'll also filter through to the rest of the house. We know that children are at more risk from secondhand smoke because they breathe more rapidly and evidence shows us they inhale up to 70% more than an adult. Secondhand smoke carries most of the risks that are associated with smoking in pregnancy, so do smoke outside completely with the door closed. Finally, just remember, smoking in pregnancy causes so many risks. Are you prepared to take them? Do something really important. Have a go at quitting. Get some support. And just remember, you really can do anything that you put your mind to.